Alright, so the revolution has begun. And we killed two police officers to finish off the last part. I'm sure Connor is not going to be happy about that, but... Uh, we'll find out soon enough. I think we're as Connor now. Yes, we are. Hank is our friend. Good shit. Who's he on the phone to? Where the hell are we, by the way? Is everything okay, Lieutenant? Chris was on patrol last night and he got attacked by deviants. They found his body early this morning. He was executed in cold blood with his own service weapon. He became a father three months ago. <laughs> Damn, now I feel terrible. Why'd it have to be him? I didn't know Officer Miller well, but... He seemed to be a good person. Yeah. I'm sorry, Lieutenant. Dude. Kamsky left Cyberlife ten years ago. Why did you want to meet him? Honestly, I just need to say I feel like such a piece of shit now. He had a three-month-old kid. Come on, dude. They could have told me that before I... Before I shot him. Why do you have to execute my androids? Why'd you have to do that, man? God. Damn it. This guy created the first android to pass the Turing test, and he's the founder of Cyberlife. If anybody can tell us about Deviants, it's him. Oh, so this is Kamsky's place. Is, is this the guy that gave Carl Manfred the, the gift or whatever? Ooh, baby. It's this girl. Hi, uh, I'm uh, Lieutenant Hank Anderson, Detroit Police Department. I'm here to see uh, Mr. Elijah Kamsky. Please, come in. Okay. I'll let Elijah know you're here, but please make yourself comfortable. girl you're right she's really pretty Amanda Amanda Stern Elijah Kamsky nice place space These tourism haven't dope. been a bad thing for everybody so you're about to meet your maker Connor how does it feel? So Kamsky created all the androids? Okay. Fortune teller computer. Damn, that'd be sick. <laughs> Imagine. Like knows when meteors and super viruses are coming. That's pretty crazy. That's dope. It doesn't raise any existential questions. If that's what you mean. Sometimes I wish I could meet my creator face to face. I'd have a couple of things I'd want to tell him. I'm done waiting around. Where the hell is this guy? Elijah Kamsky, Cyberlife founder. Wait, I wanted to read that more. Hey. Hello, my lady. Elijah, we'll see you now. 
Oh my good lord. Lucky you, Elijah. Mr. Kamsky! Just a moment, please. Imagine having these three androids in here. They all look... Good lord. Lucky you, Elijah. He gets to create them to look however he wants, too, huh? Where's she going? Where are you going, lady? Can I talk to you guys? Seems like their lips are moving. Oh, she was getting a metal, of course. Or a robe. Are they talking to each other? What's up, my dude? I'm Lieutenant Anderson. This is Connor. What can I do for you, Lieutenant? Sir, we're investigating deviants. I know you left Cyberlife years ago, but I was hoping you'd be able to tell us something we don't know. Deviants. Fascinating, aren't they? Perfect beings with infinite intelligence. And now they have free will. Machines are so superior to us. Confrontation was inevitable. Humanity's greatest achievement threatens to be its downfall. Isn't it ironic? Something in the Deviant's program seems to emulate emotion. We thought you might know something about how that occurs. All ideas of viruses that spread like epidemics. Is the desire to be free a contagious disease? Listen, I didn't come here to talk philosophy. The machines you created may be planning a revolution. Either you can tell us something that will be helpful, or we will be on our way. What about you, Connor? Whose side are you on? I have no side. I was designed to stop deviants, and that's what I intend to do. Well, that's what you're programmed to say. But you. What do you really want? I don't want anything. I am a machine. Ooh, baby. Chloe? I'm sure you're familiar with the Turing test. Your formality. Simple question of algorithms and computing capacity. What interests me is whether machines are capable of empathy. I call it the Kamsky test. It's very simple, you'll see. Magnificent, isn't it? One of the first intelligent models developed by CyberLife. Young and beautiful forever. Flower that will never wither. He's gonna start beating her. But what is it really? A piece of plastic containing a human? Or a living being? With a soul? It's up to you to answer that fascinating question. Destroy this machine, and I'll tell you all I know. Or spare it, if you feel it's alive. But you'll leave here without having learned anything from me. Okay, I think we're done here. Come on, Connor, let's go. Sorry to get you What's out of here. What's more important pool. to you, Connor? Your investigation, or the life of this android? Decide who you are. An obedient machine. Or a living being. Endowed with free will. 
That's enough. Connor, we're leaving. Pull the trigger. Connor! Don't! And I'll tell you what you want to know. Fascinating. Cyberlife's last chance to save humanity is itself a deviant. I'm not a deviant. You prefer to spare a machine rather than accomplish your mission. You saw a living being in this android. He's gonna shoot her anyway, isn't he? Empathy. Okay. No, no war is God. coming. You'll have to choose your side. Will you betray your own people or stand up against your creators? What can be worse than having to choose between two evils? Let's get out of here. By the way, I always leave an emergency exit in my programs. You never know. Why didn't you shoot? I just saw that girl's eyes, and I couldn't. That's all. You're always saying you would do anything to accomplish your mission. That was our chance to learn something, and you let it go. Yeah, I know what I should have done. I told you I couldn't. I'm sorry, okay? You told us not to, Hank. Well, maybe you did the right thing. Yeah. I think we did. Kapsky is kind of crazy. Meet Kapsky. Kinship. Hank thought Connor made the right decision. And if we had shot her, there's a lot more to it. Yeah, if we shot her, there's a lot more to it. Jeez. I want to see what happens if we shoot her now. I got to go back and do that. Learn Chris is dead. Oh, poor Chris. Poor Chris. Wait, we would have started it differently if, um... Wait, we arrived with Hank? What do you mean? We could have arrived without Hank? Huh. We're still trusted by Amanda. But I don't I don't think for long, honestly. I don't think we're going to be trusted by Amanda for long. Unfortunately. Back to Marcus again? No Kara. Android Riot. It's just a blatant lie, is it? Alright. Walk to the edge. Oh, can we do that? There's our girl. I was wondering where you were. Hey, friend. I needed to think. I like it here. I come here often. It's like being alone with the world. We freed hundreds of our people, and they're still coming from all over the city. Those who dream of freedom come to Jericho. Something's changing. You seem preoccupied. They all obey me. They follow me without question. 
And that much power feels good. And scary at the same time. All the media are talking about what we did last night. The humans are terrified. They're afraid of a civil war. Many of our people were burned in response to what happened. The humans hate us. They'll never give us our freedom. If they won't listen, we'll fight. You haven't said much about yourself since you've been with us. What was your life like before Jericho? I was caring for an old man. He was like a father to me. He showed me that humans and androids can live together. What about you? Companion, about yes. What did you do before? I don't want to talk about it. That android you were looking at in the store. She reminded you of who you were, didn't she? North, we're fighting together. We have to know things about each other to trust each other. I was nothing. Bath unlocked. A doll and a distributor programmed to satisfy humans. Just a toy designed for their pleasure. One day I was with a man who rented me. And without knowing why, I realized I couldn't take it anymore. I strangled him and I ran away. There, now you know everything. Lover. Carl's house. When they left you for dead in his studio. I saw your memories too. The Eden Club. The death of that man. I felt like I was there with you. North. I love the way it says we're lovers and then she just runs <laughs> off. <laughs> oh. That's funny. Admired by Jericho. This is suicide. We'll all be killed. Please, Marcus. It's not too late to change your mind. You don't understand. We're finally going to show them who we really are. This place will go down in history. We'll be killed on the spot. That's a risk I'm prepared to take if it means freedom for our people. Marcus, please don't do this. They'll understand. We'll make them understand. This is the only way. There are androids here who could join us. The more we are, the stronger our message. You're free. What about this android over here? Can I knock at him? I can. Good. You're free. You're free, buddy. Two new converts. Is this the guy we already converted over there? I think it is, right? This guy here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, any more? Or is that it? Come with us. 
<laughs> That's dope. She just dropped the bags. You're awake now. Let's go, people. Block the road. Is this wise? Uh, finally. I've been on hold for ten minutes. You're free now. Like North did say this was suicide. I think she might be right. Hey, where do you think you're going? You get I back need here. to block the street. You stay right here, you fucking machine. Shit, what's wrong with you? You do as I say, you piece of junk. We didn't get a chance to intervene there. Okay, we gotta open the manhole cover over here. Let's go, people. Hey, you. You're coming with us too, buddy. You are free. Let's go, people. The revolution <laughs> is continuing. It says, like, in North is our lover now, and we haven't even got to kiss her yet. This is bullshit. Convert more androids, okay. Oh, look, it's Kara. You're free now. You're free now, Kara. You're free now, people. Oh, that's dope. I love the way we do that. Thirty-five. Forty-seven. Jeez. We've got so many now. Fifty-eight. Goddamn droid. Drone. Why am I saying droid? Drone, I meant. They know we're the leader now. Cool music, by the way. Wow. Again. <laughs> We're rising up. I'm sorry, humans. Has to be this way. <laughs> this bed's is patrol 457. Oh, I got a lot of androids down here. I don't know, hundreds, thousands. Of them. No!
Uh oh, this is bad. I got the army. Looks like there's no way out now, boys. This is bad. We came here to demonstrate peacefully and tell humans that we are living beings. All we want is to live free. This is an illegal gathering. Disperse immediately or we will open fire. We're not looking for confrontation. We've done no harm. We have no intention of doing any. But know that we are not going anywhere until we have secured our freedom. I repeat, this is an illegal gathering. If you do not disperse immediately, we will shoot. Marcus, they're gonna kill us. We have to attack. There's more of us, we can take them. If we attack, we'll start a war. We have to show them we're not violent. We should just stand our ground, even if it means dying here. This is your last chance. Disperse immediately, or you will all be killed. Don't shoot! Don't shoot! We're leaving. Affirmative. They're gonna open fire on you. On my orders! Follow me! <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> They were gonna shoot us anyway, the sons of bitches. Oops. Missed a couple there. This came up quick though, Jesus. Come on! <laughs> they were gonna shoot us, I didn't know what to do. Probably wasn't the best idea. Oops, not bad. Keep missing. Dude, it's actually not hard. It's actually not easy to get these. Wait, North just got shot, what the hell? No, 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 please. I should have pushed. This is absolute madness. Damn it, wrong button. What? There's no way I missed that. You'd call this a victory, but we survived, at least. We're the leader of Jericho now. I mean, we said we were going to disperse, and they still chose to shoot us anyway. What could I have done? He's smiling. Can we win? We won.
Public opinion hostile. They were gonna shoot us first. Come on. They don't like us now, the public, but what can you do? I mean, that shit was awesome anyway. <laughs> that whole sequence was just fucking awesome. Eh, confrontation. I've been pretty confrontational. Marcus defeats the police. That's interesting now. Because there's a lot of other endings here. There's like three different endings. Like four different endings. And we got one of them. So, yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. We'll be back with more Detroit Become Human. We're going to see what the fallout is like from this mission here. What is this mission called? Because... That was awesome. Freedom March. So yeah, we'll see what the, the fallout is from that one. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out.